right, so for MakerBot Replicator Plus um, to power it on, back behind here, find the power cord. There's a little toggle switch. Make sure that that's turned on. Once you do, it'll start to load up the menu. It takes several minutes to load this. <clears throat> and what I'm going to show you here is basically um, using the menu to do a couple of things. Um, I am going to show basically setting this thing up USB mode. And for that, we'll need to get a USB drive. So let me grab one here real quick. And it's still loading. You'll notice the, um, now there's three controls here for adjusting and accessing the menu. So on the, um, the main display here, you'll see that there's either um, an up or a down button. There's also the turn knob and also you can press the knob. So those are the different ways that you <clears throat> kind of move around in the functions on this. Um, I'm gonna take my USB drive and just put it in here. I do have a file on here that I've already loaded. Um, and I got it from a website called Thingiverse. Thingiverse is a great place if you're looking for 3D print projects to get things to put into the printer. Now the printer does come automatically with um, a couple of example files. So you can go ahead and print something just to kind of see how it works. I think there's a, a chain link. There's a, um, let's go, actually, let's go take a look. So if we want to print right here, we're going to press the button and then we can see, you can see there's a USB drive, which is this. And then there's also internal storage. So we're going to turn and press, press. I guess it just takes a minute or two. It's loading up the internal storage and then, um, all right. So actually, I guess I've loaded some things over here. Um, you can move things over into this drive as well. So let's see, the examples that come with it are in the examples folder. I'm gonna go into that. And there's a 20 millimeter box that we can print. Chain links, Mr. Jaws, I have no idea what that is. And then a nut and bolt. So basically when the, these print off, you pull them off and you can use them like what they are saying that they are, like a nut and a bolt, you'd screw them together. Um, so let's just take a look. I'm gonna look at the nut and bolt here. <clears throat> and this is what you're gonna get when it prints off. Now, this is the finished product. You'll see also there's gonna be like stuff built around it. It's uh, to help hold it in place when it prints so that you have to remove. And then you'll end up uh, after you remove it with the finished looking product, which you see here. Um, to get information about it, we can look and see, um, it says, and I'm turning this knob to get through this, um, nut and bolt takes 41 minutes to print and it uses about 0 0.01 pounds or six grams of um, filament. And <clears throat> just kind of giving you some information about, you won't know much about it if you haven't used uh, 3D printers before. This is information that's technical for the people that design this. All right, so <clears throat> those are some options to go back. I think this is the button to go back, back, back. All right, so we're in examples. So then there's, you know, chain links. Let's see what that looks like. It actually prints out these links that are separate that are fastened together. Um, it's kind of cool that, um, you know, unlike, you know, if you're making a chain link, you have to take two pieces of metal and connect them around each other. This prints with them already um, one, you know, one complete, um, what, how do I wanna say, compute, com com complete um, circular structures that are uh, interwoven uh, without any seams. I, if I, I'm not really saying that right, but it's pretty cool that that's how it, this comes off the printer like that. All right, and this has about 18 minutes. So those are some things that you can go ahead and do. I'm gonna just go ahead and set it up to print one of these. So let's do this, um, let's do this one here, the chain links. Press start. 
and this is step number three. It's going to keep the extractor. It's getting into position. So I'll put the printer head in place. It's also going to heat it up. So right now it's heating it. It's got to get to 180 degrees instead of 44 Celsius. And then the print tray is going to come up to meet the print head. Now, if you have a brand new printer, you have to make sure that all the orange, there's a clip here, a clip over here, a clip in the back, and I think down below. Also, your tray has to be set up um, if it has if it hasn't been taken out and um, set properly you'll have to take it out take the material packing material out of it and then slide it back in all right <clears throat> all right um the other thing about setup is you have to feed in the filament so I, i'll um i'll do a separate video on how to feed the filament in and all that stuff all right so this is ready to go it's just waiting to heat up the rest of the way, and once it's once it's done, it'll it'll start printing. All right, and that's all I'm going to show for this video, um, and I'll show some other videos for other things. But what I wanted to accomplish here in this video is just to kind of give you an idea of something you can do, just so you can see how the 3D printer works. And you can see from here, you've got three or four examples. Um, I am going to show you in a future video how to access the USB, um, actually put things on it from Thingiverse, um, and then you can either take the files and print right from your, your USB drive, or they can be copied over from the USB drive permanently into the internal storage on this, where we saw we got those examples. So, <clears throat> all right. Good luck with it. Hope you enjoy your first printing. <laughs> things is the um, display shows you what percent that you've already completed, how much time it's taken, and how much time is remaining. Let's take a look and see where we're at now. So we're very close to being finished. Here it is, finishing up the project. separated isn't that cool it has separate links that are permanently fastened together with no seams amazing we gotta get to knock this stuff off too and you're done this is the support material that helps hold the print job in place there's no purpose for this it's just scrap one day though scrap can be put back into a recycling uh, tool which um, hopefully we'll be able to take and turn back into filament, which would be really cool. So I'm looking forward to getting one of those filament recycl recyclers. Yeah. So this video is just to show you how to take a file off your USB and put it into internal storage on here. So as you can see, I've got my USB drive plugged in. I'm on print right now. And I'm gonna go over to print and I'm gonna go to my USB storage. And I'm going to go down to the thing that I want to get, which I'm just going to say I want to get my dragon egg. And I'm going to click it and then just select copy and then copy to internal storage. And notice for every time I select, I'm just pressing this 
button down and I'm turning the dial to select, make my selections. File copied, continue. Now I can go back to it and then go back out. So back up, back up. And now in internal storage, I can find what I just copied over my dragon egg. Select it and print it. 